Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's video, we're going to show you how to assemble the flick board to the Raspberry Pi and also put it inside the case. Um, so what we have here is uh, we have a range of flick boards. Um, we've got the Flick Zero, the Flick Heart, and also the Flick Large as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to assemble these one by one to the Raspberry Pi and then we're going to show you our range of cases as well and how to put them inside the case. Uh, so first up, we're going to start with the Flick Zero. So in the box, you should have uh, some nylon mounts and screws. Let's move that to one side. So first up, you want to put the uh, the standoffs on the Pi Zero. Um, you might be able to do this by hand. Uh, just put the nylon screw through the mounting holes and then just screw on the standoffs. We can tighten these up after. Uh, do the same for the remaining ones. So once we've got those on, uh, we can then add the Flick Zero to the Pi Zero. Um, all you need to do is just pop it over the GPIO pins like so and then just push it down firmly <coughs> just make sure it's all the way down as far as it can go and then we can put the remaining screws on the top And there we have the Flick Zero assembled to the Pi Zero. Uh, so now what we're going to do is going to just show you quickly how to assemble it into the Flick, Flick Zero case. Uh, so once you've got the top two parts off, um, obviously you can see inside we've got some suction mounts. Uh, so if you wanted to, there's some, um, uh, you mount the suction cups onto the back and you can stick it onto something. We've also got some uh, rubber feet, feet as well, which go on the bottom of the, the, uh, the case. To put the rubber feet on, you need to sort of squash a small part through and then push it through with like a, a pointed object like a pen or a pencil or something something like that. So first of all uh, what we're going to do is just slide the part in the flick zero into the case. Um, just make sure you get it the right way around. Uh, you obviously you can see the cutouts on the side there. Um, they should line up with the, uh, the connectors on the Pi Zero. So it's usually easier if you um, sort of tilt it at an angle um, where the connectors are on the Raspberry Pi, uh, put them in first and then push down the other, on the other side. Um, the case will bend a little bit, but obviously um, don't do it too much. Uh, once those are on, we can then slide the uh, two tops on either side. Uh, they should just slide in easily. Uh, there are little grooves in each side, so it will just, just slot in nicely. Uh, you'll be able to click, hear them click into place uh, once they're in. Uh, 
and there we go. That's the uh, Pi Zero in its case. Um, and it should be able to, once you've powered it up, you've installed the software, um, you'll be able to detect the gestures through the, through the case. So now we've assembled the Pi Zero into its case, we're now going to take a look at the Flick Hat and assemble that to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we've got Raspberry Pi 4 here, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, in the box, uh, you should have some nylon standoffs and screws. Uh, so just empty those out. So first of all you want to attach the standoffs to the Pi. It's a lot easier to do it this way. Um, I find anyway. Um, you should be able to do this with your hand. Just put the screws through the mounting holes. And then just screw on the standoffs. <clears throat> Don't worry too much if they're not tight, you can tighten them up later. In fact, I'll just screw that one in there. There we go. <clears throat> and then we just add the flick cart on top. Uh, top of the Raspberry Pi. Like so. And then just screw on the uh, re remaining nylon screws on top. And then just double check the uh, screws underneath are fairly tight as well. Like so. So that's the uh, flick hat assembled onto the Raspberry Pi. Uh, next, we're going to just add it into the flick hat case here. So first of what you want to do is you just want to pull the top, two tops off. Uh, if you just put your finger in there, you should be able to just pull it out a bit and it'll come out easy enough. Uh, we've got some suction mounts in here. Uh, so you can mount these to the back of the case and then you can stick it to a flat surface. We've also got some rubber feet here as well. So. Now we just add the uh, flick hat and the Raspberry Pi to the case. Um, what you want to do is you want to put the end of the USBs or an Ethernet cable in first. And then if you just push forward a bit on the front of the case, it should just slot in like so. Just make sure the uh, uh, USB Ethernet connectors are through the cutouts here. And now we just simply put the uh, two top parts on. Uh, they should just slide in either side. And you should hear it click into place, and that's the flick hat assembled onto the Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> um, obviously, you can use once you've powered it up and installed the software, you can start using gestures whilst it's inside the case. So, next up, we're going to have a look at the large flick, and um, we're going to assemble that into this large case here. So just take off the plastic wrapping 
Uh, inside we've got some suction mounts as well. Just like the other cases, you can actually mount it to a flat surface like a glass win window or something similar. Like so. And then the flick, the large flick should slide in. Um, you need to make sure you slide it in uh, where the connectors are, and there's a bit of a groove here. Uh, this is so the ribbon cable can uh, come out the case on that side. So just slide it in, and it should push down into the case, like so. And then simply just slide the, the back on. And there we have uh, the flick large inside the flick case. So that's all the flick boards now inside the cases. Uh, if you have any questions about the cases or you want some further information, you can go to pisupply.com. Uh, you can also drop some comments in the box below. Uh, thanks very much for watching and until next time, I'll see you then.